Hi, I'm Alexis Sam, and this is Telegraph Restaurant Reviewer, Matthew Norman. Hello. And we're on the train to Hull, and there's a bit of research. Matthew is actually reading the autobiography of one of Hull's favourite sons, Tom Courtney. In 2017, Hull will become UK capital of culture. So we're going to look at the cultural features of Hull, see how they are now and how they're going to be built on for when it becomes UK capital of culture. First of all, we're going to visit a restaurant, isn't that right, Matthew? We certainly are, Alexia. We're on our way to uh, 1884, uh, which is said to uh, be a rather swanky newish place, uh, with a Gordon Ramsay uh, protégé in the kitchen, and we'll hope to discover the historical significance, if any, of the year 1884. Strictly between the two of us, I am extremely impressed with this restaurant here. Very good, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it seems to have the whole package. It's got a great vibe, it's well lit, the acoustic's terrific, service yeah. is outstanding, yeah. uh, with a few re minor reservations. Yeah, some weaknesses in the food, but everything else. A few, else. but I mean, given, you know, you went for the set menu, I yeah. think 22 grip for three yeah. courses, with a glass of champagne, yeah, it's a which is pretty astonishing value, value yeah. given given the quality of, the, of everything else. So um, I would say that, we found a winner tonight, yes. So that's Matthew Norman's verdict. We've had our dinner, we're going to go back to the hotel now, get a good night's sleep, and tomorrow we're going to see what the rest of Paul has to offer. Had a great, great, uh, great night generally, and uh, now we are off to begin the day's high culture with a visit to the deep, which... Uh, Is it aquarium? And I'm, it's John I'm Prescott's uh, bequeath, you know, his yeah. legacy to, to his home city. Well, uh, I'm very much against aquariums. I think of them as fish Auschwitzes. Of course. Having spent some time now communicating telepathically with our Piscine brothers, we're now going to go and eat fish and chips and I feel a we bit are. guilty. And I forgot my net. <laughs> right, well here we are in Trinity House Lane and we're going to pop in to Bob Carver's Fish and Chip Restaurant, which is a great and grand and venerable institution in Hull and see what's, what's frying today. I think we've got to have some chips and mushy peas. Yeah. This is what Bob's is famed for throughout the, uh, the East Coast, yeah. Oh, fantastic trip. Oh, some vinegar. Bit of vinegar? Yeah. Thank you. Right, well. Give us an instant review then. Well, I'd the say these chips are greaseless, yeah. crispy, yeah. and delicious. Mushy peas are much firmer and um, less minty than we whole, get in the soft south. Well, whole different experience to the south, it's true, very different. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And um, this is the perfect antidote to the ravages of late last night with the brandy. I noticed that we have not had any fish because we felt a bit guilty after going to the deep south. I think we bonded, perhaps we bonded too far with the aquatic life. Yeah. Um, and um, it felt like an act of treachery, really, yeah. to go and eat their brethren. So we're having a, a, a fish-free fish lunch. Here we are in the exotically named land of green ginger. And why is it named that, Matthew? Not quite sure, Alexi. It's been hotly disputed for centuries. It might be a bastardization of the name of a Dutch merchant, Linde Green, or it may be because it housed a large repository for, for the spice. Beautiful Georgian buildings and... Yeah. Uh, um, and brick building, Victorian brick buildings. Yeah. Well, Fantastic. let's go and explore more of Hall's old town. Yeah. You're known as Harry Lazarus's hotel during the He used to feed European trans migrants en route to American Canada. That's our people, isn't it? That's our lot. Yeah. I think. Hall takes the award for most interesting namage. It's incredibly sort of picturesque and sort yeah, of like name, isn't it? Here we are in Dagger Lane. Um, I don't know whether that's a reference to it's Friday a reference nights. To the uh, cup After. purses, or it may be a yeah. reference to the uh, endless sexual intercourse of uh, merchant seamen. That's beautifully judged. Yeah. Right, here we are in the very epicentre of Holland. What do you think, Matthew? I've loved it. It's been too short, this visit. I hope to come back. I think the town centre, particularly enchanting, the old town. Uh, it's got real flavour, real character, real individuality. Uh, and uh, 
just we felt it's a bit unloved in parts where I think uh, City of Culture maybe give it the leg up it needs. Let's hope so. Yeah, alright. Train station that way? Yeah.